and welcome. In this video, I am going to discuss about the SQL Server installation error, which is .NET 3.5 framework error. You may face this error when you are trying to install SQL Server 2014 on Windows Server 2012 environment. So let me show you where do you get this error exactly. This is my SQL Server setup file. When I open this setup file, you will get this installation page. When you go ahead and try to install the SQL Server 2014, run, you can proceed further but at the feature selection, you will get the error. Let me show you that. So I am going with the evaluation edition only. Click next. Accept license terms. Next. Rule check in progress. You can ignore the warnings. Click next. You can ignore this. And now when is when it is trying to install setup files, you will get the error. Because .NET 3.5 framework is missing. Here we got the warning. We can ignore the warnings. And feature selection. You can select the services you require database engine and management tools. Click next. You can see the error now. Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 service pack is required, which is missing in the current environment. When you click on this failed status, it says rule microsoft.net framework 3.5 service pack is required okay means this computer does not have the microsoft.net framework 3.5 service pack 1 installed our target server does not have access to the windows update and cannot be installed offline with the downloaded dotnet framework setup files so i have a downloaded dotnet uh, 3.5 setup file in my system this is my file, .NET file, which I have downloaded from the Microsoft website. This is a uh, Microsoft website link. I will share this link in the description. You can try from your end also. From here, I have downloaded the .NET framework file. Let me try to install this file. Let us see what error it will pop up. Run the file. It is searching for required files. You can see the error here. The following feature could not be installed. Windows rules and features cannot be automatically installed or uninstalled via Windows features control panel. We need to do this using server manager. Open server manager. This is my server manager. Here you need to add roles and features. And then you will get the uh, wizard where you can add roles and features. Here click next. Next, click next. Here, no need to select anything. Click next, and here you can see the features. .NET Framework 3.5 is not tick. It means it is not selected. Select it. Even if I select and proceed, it will throw me error. Error. Let me show you that. Click next. And install our installation has been started and it throw us an error you can see the error here view feature installation has been failed one of installation of one or more roles role services or features has been failed because the source file could not be found so how do we resolve this issue let us see how do we resolve it. Here it is giving us a hint. Click specify an alternate source path to specify a valid location of the source files that are required for the installation. It means while we install it, we need to specify an alternate source path which we will get from the image file, Windows Server image file. I will show you. This is my Windows Server 2012 disk image file. I need to extract the files. Right click 
and you can extract files here if you have winder application in your system if you don't have winder application in your system you can just mount the drive you can see you can just mount the drive if you mount the drive you will get the all the folders in that disk disk so let me show you this if i go to my pc you can see the drive has been mounted the disk has been mounted as a drive when i open this drive i will get the folders inside it okay so i need this sources folder sources folder s s s x s and i need to give this path okay this path in the installation procedure so i have already extracted the files So this is the folder. Okay. Open the folder. Windows Server 2012. Go to Sources. And then search for the folder. S X S. And we need all these files, which include .NET 3.5 framework. So copy this path. the path i'm copying this path now open server manager add roles and features here click next 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 and here select dot net framework 3.5 features and next Till here the process is same here before you click on install you need to specify an alternate source path here click on this and give the path name which path the path we have copied just now this path mention the path and ok now click on install installation is in progress now you will not face any issue because we have provided the path to extract the files you can see here installation is succeeded now okay now you can go ahead and install sql server close we have sql server here this is the error page which we got you can just rerun it. That's it. Rerun. Now check. I think we have seen validation has been passed, and you can go ahead with the installation procedure. You can go ahead with the installation. You can give default or named instance and proceed. Okay. I'm just going ahead. Our SQL Server installation is in progress. No issues now. We can installation will complete within few minutes. You can see installation has been succeeded close it so this is how we resolve the dot net framework if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe